Hi, Elena with Pilates ER and Stretch ER. We are gonna do a springboard tower Cadillac class. So whatever apparatus you can work on, if you have any of those, you're gonna be able to do this. So what we have set up, we have a push-through bar and that's gonna be bottom loaded with two springs. So push-through bar, bottom loaded, two springs and safety straps always on when it's bottom, bottom loaded. I want you to have your yellow springs ready. I have them set at shoulder height. And then I have my roll down bar. You can put it off to the side. I don't want to have it hooked up yet because it just, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> so have your roll down bar. Your yellow springs are going to connect. Brooke came to join us. They're going to be a, a connected shoulder height. And then we have our leg springs, all the things. We have the leg springs connected and I have them connected. Oh, I don't know, belly button level, which is going to be a little higher, um, which we're going to need that later on. So again, to start off, I want you bottom loaded with the push through bar set up and then you have your safety strap put on. So go ahead, get your stuff ready for all the above. We're going to start off with our feet work and we're going to sit in the middle or stand in the middle of the mat. We're going to face our, I have a mat down just for my, my body, my back, you know, your apparatus. We're going to face our springboard and let's just stand here for a second. Feel somebody lift you from your sternum. That's your bone that's connected at your chest and then feel somebody lift you from the base of your neck. So the back or the base of your head, the bottom of the back of the head. And feel those two, the front of your body lift, feel the back of your body lift, and feel yourself float up in gravity. Let's cross our arms in front of us, I dream of genie arms. I want you to cross your ankles and I want you to slowly control yourself all the way down to the mat. If you need to bring your arms down to assist yourself in this position, feel free. Once your butt is touching, <laughs> Brookie, you're going to get in the middle of the mat or lay down where your hips are right underneath this bar. So lay down, I'm sorry, mama, where those hips are right underneath this bar. And then once you have that, hook your heels on the bar, hip width apart. So a good four inches in between those heels. So, or maybe five. I want your hands to be flat. And let's just sit here for a second. Give me a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, blow everything out of your mouth. Inhale, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, blow everything out of your mouth. Bend your knees, inhale. Knees float right in between or right over those toes. Exhale as you straighten. Keep doing this. Bending on an inhale, exhaling on your straighten. And I really want you to notice how your feet react when you bend. How do those knees react when you bend? And I want you to be accountable and make those knees stay in proper alignment. Don't let your legs get away with this. This is such a short, short range of motion when it comes to our feet work. So trying to just honor what we're working. Balls of the feet on, high heels, same thing. Exhale as you straighten. Hug the bar with the toes. Exhale as you press away. Now notice your sacrum, that flat bone at the bottom of the spine. I want it to be nice and balanced. Try not to let it rock. Now there are times, there's reasons, sometimes I wanna make it rock, but right now, let's think about that stability. And you'll notice in my teaching, sometimes I do one way, sometimes I do the other, and I'm gonna put it all in the name of being fascia focused. Good, one more pass. Sometimes we need movement, sometimes we need to learn how to stabilize. Hold it up, heels together. If that same thing, if that safety strap gets in your way, just slide it on over. So here when these knees are externally rotated or legs, you can get into a lot more deeper range of motion. So honor that and notice how the toes are. Those knees are just, they're following that. So knees are a little bit more narrow than what we normally tend to think. We usually really spread those knees out further, trying to honor that same turnout. Straighten out, keep it out. Let's go to the heels, wide as can be. You do the same thing. So on feet work, it's the same five feet positions done like on every apparatus, <laughs> many ways. And what it is, is to think in these different range of motions that we can do today, how does it feel? What do we need to scour? 
personally, it's how did you sleep last night? What position felt good? Was it funky? And this is where we scour it. This is where we break it open. Usually, one more pass. I'll start it after this. Go to the balls of the feet, high heels. Bend and straighten in that external rotation. Find that big range of motion. I really want you to focus on the smoothness on this transition. Think about when you wake up in the morning, you're more stiff. And then throughout the day, you're moving and you're not as stiff anymore. You naturally break up that connective tissue, your fascia. And so with feet work, we're doing the same thing. We're getting in these range of motions, seeing where we are in our practice today and setting it, reminding it to stabilize, know what we need to focus on. Good, we're gonna stay with balls of the feet on, hip width apart. Let's start pointing and flexing our feet and finding our calf work, also known as our tendon stretches. Pointing and flexing. Find a lot of range of motion. Hug with all 10 toes. You got two more passes. Now we find our prance. Just bend one and then switch to the other. Notice the alignment in the legs. Don't let those ankles get away with it. Don't let the knees get away with it. Let's go fast. Find a little, little jog. Stabilizing the pelvis. So you only go to that speed that your body can take it. And then notice if you cut your range of motion off, get the big range of motion and then honor that. Faster, whatever faster is. Smooth transitions, don't let those knees pop. And for three, keep it up. For two, see why it's called run? And one, now hold it with straight legs, pointed feet. Point and flex. Let's work through that. Let that burn transition somewhere else. And we'll get into our single leg. Point the legs, keep it. The left leg points to the springboard. You bend the right leg, exhale as you straighten out. Good, bend both knees in, straighten both legs out. Good, keep it going. So that left leg is just reaching towards the springboard and that teaser position as we'll call it the rest of our workout today. And you wanna honor both legs in proper alignment. And of course they're weighted different, one more. Hold it up, switch the legs. Just do bend and then straighten one time and then both legs bend, both legs straighten. Reach out to the springboard with the right leg. Notice the arms on the ground, standing on those arms. I want those hands down, wrists down, squeezing those fingers together. Standing on those arms because we get in there a little bit, especially when we do rollovers, you need this arm strength to be able to help you. Hold it up, keep it up. Let's have both heels on the bar. And then from here, bend both knees in, get those hips ready for it and straighten out. The left leg points down to the board, bend both knees in, straighten out, flex the foot as you push away. Bend both knees in, I'm pointing the left foot, flex both as you push away. Good, keep it going. Keep this happening. The foot on the bar just stays neutral. Bending, find the alignment in both legs. I think the left side of the body is as equally distant as the right side of the body. Two more. Last pass. Switch it out. Same thing, bend both. Press it out. Bend both. Press it out. Notice the sides of the body from the rib cage to the pelvis. Try to keep it equal when you bend. Good. Couple more. Last pass, our pelvis is such a big joint. Trying to scour it properly is so important. Have both heels on. Now from here, bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Now this is really weighted, so be careful here. I want you to round and roll the butt up. Make sure your butt can, your back can handle this. Roll the back up all the way up to the shoulder, standing on those arms. If you don't feel like you're comfortable, you can 
it's not comfortable to roll up all the way, don't. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you slowly roll down. Go slow. Make sure you exhale. Feel every vertebra. So you usually don't roll up with two springs like that because it's a lot on the spine. So just doing one here and feeling where we are in space, what we need to do, what would make it more comfortable. Now let's bend the knees. And then from here, I want you to get out of this position by scooting back on your mat and your legs are gonna be long. So scooting back, legs are gonna be long. You're gonna flex your feet, reach your arms up and over your head, and then reach your arms down towards your hips. Let's get our, our ribs set. Reach these arms up and over our head and then right down by our hips. So as we do this, keep those shoulders down to the mat. Keep that neck nice and long. And I want you to think about the ribs pointing down towards the pelvis and that pelvis pointing up to the ribs. And then notice when you're doing your arms, don't let them go back to the point where your ribs flare open. Finding that ultimate control. Reach back right before that point where your ribs flare. Reach arms, lift the head, inhale. Exhale as you roll all the way up. Fold over, think your forehead touches that bar. Inhale, start to round back. Exhale as you roll back. We're gonna do a couple roll ups. Again, reach your arms, lift the head. This is an inhale. Exhale as you round up, fold over those legs, scoop the back. You inhale as you round back, keep the shoulders down. Exhale as you slowly go down, bone by bone, reach these arms back. Again, reach your arms, lift the head. Exhale as you roll up, fold over those legs, rounding. Inhale as you start to round back. Exhale as you go down all the way. One more pass on our roll up. Inhale, lift. Exhale as you roll up, fold over those legs. Sit up nice and tall. Now we're gonna bring one of the springs and we're gonna take it off and connect it to the board. So take it off at the metal of the push through bar and you're gonna connect it to the springboard. Wherever it connects comfortably and makes your eyes happy. Um, so we're one spring loaded at the bottom. We're going to reach our legs out long. My feet are flexed. Arms are reaching, palms towards each other. Let's round our spine into a C-spine and sit up nice and tall. Round your spine like a C-spine and then roll back. Now from here, hands down, I want you to shimmy down six inches. So shimmy down about six inches towards the springboard. And we all have different lengths, so if you need to rearrange it where it makes your body happy, please do so. So heels on the bar. And then from here, so you have the spring where it can be pushed up, and then you have your safety strap holding you in place. So we're gonna think about pushing against towards the springboard. You're gonna roll your butt up into a bridge, bone by bone. Inhale, exhale as you roll down. So I feel like I'm pushing down too much on my bar, so I'm gonna scoot back where my intention is pushing towards the springboard. So it mimics our chair bridges. So let's round and roll up bone by bone. Think you're pushing towards the springboard, not down on that bar. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale as you slowly roll down. Okay, we just do one more of these. Exhale as you roll up bone by bone. Inhale, think push to the springboard, not down. Exhale as you roll down. Now from here, not a classical move there. You straighten your legs out, bend the knees in, so you can see a lot lighter and we're a lot further away. Straighten out, keep it straight. Round and roll the butt up, keep your legs straight, bone by bone, all the way up. Stand on those arms. Inhale, exhale as you roll down. Now think about the alignment in your legs as we do this. I want you to think knees are pointed straight to the ceiling. Exhale as you roll up, ankles are pointed up to the ceiling. Those toes are reaching to the springboard. When you lift those hips, not letting those thigh bones roll out to the side or inward, whatever your thing may be. Noticing at the top of the thigh is where you can really internally rotate it personally yourself to fix whatever your alignment issue may be. Don't let your body get away with it. You do not age well that way. Inhale. Think about the tires on a car. Those tires on a car are turned out to the side. 
Think the wear and tear that does on the car. Your legs are like the tire. Your body, your hips are like the car. Don't wear and tear it. Round and roll up, exhale. All the way up, press down on those arms. We're gonna kick one leg towards your face, exhale. Lower it to the bar. Let's keep doing this leg. Exhale, kick. Lower it down. One more time. Exhale, kick. Lower it down. Now notice, notice the leg on the bar. Really keep it in proper alignment. Other leg. Kick. And then lower it down. Think that standing leg on the bar is in proper alignment. One more. Both of them, actually. Now roll the spine down bone by bone. Legs stay straight. Again, round the spine. Roll up. Exhale. Just six inches. Bend the knees. And you straighten it. Bend the knees and straighten it. As you can tell, there's a point of no return when you go down low. It'll really sink down low. So just try to find that point where your nervous system can take it and your control in your body is okay with it. And just honor however big that range of motion is. And then maybe trying to get a little smoother. Maybe push the edges to make it a little bit bigger range of motion. And then straighten up, keep it, round the spine, roll down. Whew, very good, bend the knees. And then from here, I want you to scoot closer towards your springboard, just uh, about four inches. Let's have one foot on the bar. I have my left heel on, I'm gonna straighten this left leg up. And then I'm gonna bend it down, proper alignment. Exhale, press it up, bend it in. Other leg finds tabletop. We're just bending and straightening the leg on the bar. Let's do both. Bend and straighten. Straighten that leg out to a teaser. Bend and bend. So I know we're working our legs, but this is going to turn into abs. So hands go back behind the head. I want you to crunch it up when you straighten your legs out. Exhale, crunch up, bend back in. Lower the head back to home. Exhale, crunch it up and come back to home. Keep it going. Crunch up to where you're, if you had a bra line, you're past the bra line. Really lift that head up. Usually we just do our head and our heads are so heavy compared to the rest. Well, they're just heavy, period. And that takes a lot for our neck muscles to do. And I don't want your neck muscles involved. I mean, I want them involved, but I don't want them doing everything. I want your abs to take it. One more. Crunch it up, keep it up. The leg, the right leg is gonna lift up to the bar and lower and hover. Exhale, lift and down, staying in your crunch. Lift and down. Exhale, and down, two more. Last pass, hold it at the top. Switch the legs in space. The left leg, let's bend both knees in. Straighten out, crunch it up. Good, keep it going. So. We did a little fancy switch, finding the smoothness, smoothness in your motion. So doing single leg work, which we already did, but we lightened our load, so we're changing up our intention. And then we turned it into ab work at the same time. So trying to see where we can be a little inventive with our classical moves. Two more. Exhale. Last pass. You're gonna crunch it up, eyes on the thighs. You're past the bra line if you have it. The rogue leg is gonna lower down and then lift up to get to the bar. Lower down, inhale, stay lifted in your crunch. Exhale. Fingers are interlaced, thumbs trace down the back of the neck. Elbows in your peripheral vision. Not resting your weight in those hands, trying to crunch up. Like those hands are a little bit of accountability. Trying to get out of them a little bit more. Two more. Exhale. Last pass, exhale, hold it up. Both heels on the bar, stay in your crunch. Little crunches at the top, exhale, nice and slow. Good. Now crunch it up, reach your arms, palms towards the ceiling. Kick the right leg up towards your face. Lower it down, other leg. Good, a different version. Couple more. Two. Last pass. 
Now stay with this leg. Just the left leg for me personally is lifting and lowering. Hands go back behind the head. Leg down, head down. Head and leg comes towards each other. Head and leg down. Exhale, crunch. Keep it going. Fingers are interlaced. Thumbs trace down the back neck. Elbows in the peripheral vision. Just slaughtering. A little bit of this core because we can. Two more. Last pass. We're gonna hold it at the top, keep it at the top. Keep your head crunched, lower this leg. Other leg lifts, and then you know the drill. Leg down, head down. Exhale, crunch them up together. Leg down, head down. Exhale, crunch them up together. Keep this going. Think about that leg, especially that thigh. How does that knee look in space? Couple more passes. Two. Crunch it up above that bra line if you had one. Crunch it up, keep it up, both heels on. Lower that head down. Hands are by your side, bend your knees. Wasn't that fun? Yes. Okay, now let's keep our knees bent, feet are flat. Reach your arms back behind you right before your ribs wanna flare. Reach your arms, lift your head. Exhale, roll up. Okay, from here, scoot back, legs are straight. They're mat width apart, feet are flex. Now, I want you to reach as far up in space, so push it up, you have a nice long spine. Lean forward, thumbs on top of the bar here. Now from here, I want you to round the spine back and then press it up. So it's all about the spine. Spine rounds back and then inhale, straighten that spine, push that bar up. So arms are just along for the ride. It's the spine that's rounding. And then inhale as you find that back extension, straight back. Exhale, round, feel every spine bone. Notice what it wants to tell you. Two more. Last pass. Good. From here, I want you to scoot just a little bit more forward. You're gonna crisscross applesauce with your knees. So, your back is long, your arms are long, your ears are right aligned with those biceps. We're at a diagonal with our spine. We bend the elbows out to the side, and then we straighten. Bend out to the side, and you straighten. Keep this going. My back is at a diagonal. Smooth and steady with this press. No pinching, no pain. And if there was, you have a shorter range of motion. Stop right before that. Listen to your body. Two more, don't let that ego start talking. Don't think it has to be a big range of motion. It's more about the calmness and then that strength will trickle, I promise. Now at the top, bring one hand at your lower back. Get those shoulders to be even in space. You bend one arm and then you straighten. Keep this going. Now don't rush through this. Think about that long wrist. Smooth and steady, knowing that hand's on that bar. Those shoulders are nice and even in space. Two more passes. Last pass. Switch it out. Other hand at your low back. You bend one arm. Exhale, straighten. Keep this going. Feel that diagonal in your back and that neck. Feel that length of that arm. Trying to keep that shoulder down in space the whole way through. Don't let it creep up. Two more. Whew, one more. Mm, gotta love Pilates. Both hands on. From here, bend both, straighten both, teach both shoulders how to do it with calmness. Notice what range of motion you need. And notice when you go down, how is that evenness in the pressure of your hands? Trying to get that even. Don't let just one arm take it. 
Mm, press it up, keep it up. Now from here, I want you to lean back. You're gonna lower this bar down. Lean back, that bar lowers down. We're gonna get inside of this and face the outside. So be careful doing that. You're gonna lift up the bar. You're gonna get inside of it. And then we're going to have nice, let's do long legs. Actually, cross your legs again, and then whatever cross you go into, I want you to do the opposite of that. So from there, I want you to, safety strap might be in your way a little bit, just try not to get annoyed by it. Straighten those arms up, and then if you need to scoot back for that range of motion to be okay with you, this is a really big flexibility. So I'm gonna say, make sure you're okay with it. And if not, I would even do this without without this. So just scoot forward and not do this with the weight. It's just the same. So from here, sit up nice and tall. Think the bottom of the ribs is to the pelvis and the pelvis is to the ribs. Notice that tummy line, really trying to get that in. Bend both arms, straighten out. Let's do narrow elbows this time. Let the elbows point forward where we're looking and then straighten up. A lot of shoulder flexibility. Please be easy on yourself with this. Two more passes here. Exhale. Woo wee, shoulders stay down. Bend down, stay down. Shoulders are down. Elbows are at a 90. Shoulders up, shoulders down. Shoulder shrugs here, shoulders up. Just with that isolation of a 90 in our elbow. Shoulders up, shoulders down. One more, shoulders up, shoulders down. Now bend the elbows, get yourself out of this situation. Well done. Whew, that felt good. Let's get out of this and be done. So we're gonna take away our push through bar. So I would take the safety strap off and that spring will close. So just know that's gonna happen. Hook your safety strap up however it makes your heart happy. And then from here, I want you to get your spring put it back onto the board, wherever that makes you happy again. And we're gonna get ready with our leg straps. We're gonna get ready with our leg straps. I'm gonna get myself a little bit more happy. I think um, us Pilates teachers that look at control for a living, it's hard to let go of that. I think it's probably, to me personally, how things look. Um, anyway, let's lay down on our mat, excuse me, sit down on your mat halfway. So right in the middle. Legs are gonna be long, feet are flat, flexed. Reach your arms forward. Let's round our spine, C-spine, and then inhale, sit tall. Round the spine, C-spine. Sit tall, open those legs out, mat width. Hands are together like an alligator, they're right in between your legs. Your back's against an imaginary wall. I want you to tuck your chin to your chest, peel the head off that wall, Peel the shoulders off that wall, hands slide naturally. Peel the middle back off the wall. Peel the lower part of the middle back off the wall, yet keep the pelvis on the wall. Inhale, exhale slowly, stack back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale slowly, roll down. So personally, <clears throat> I like to do this with a one breath or a two breath. So one breath, it takes one breath to complete the exercise. Let's do it here. Inhale, sit, sit nice and tall. So one breath. So it took us one breath to do it. We'll do that again. Exhale, slowly roll down. Peel it off, keep the pelvis on the wall, imaginary wall. And it's an inhale as you stack up. Or to me, exercises are two breath exercises for the most part. Exhale as you roll down, reaching out. We'll do a two breath here. Inhale, hold it at the bottom. Exhale, slowly stack back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you roll down. See, it takes two breaths to complete it. That's my lingo. Inhale at your bottom. Exhale as you round up. Perfect. I want your hands back behind you. Fingertips are gonna be out to the side. I want you to lift your hips up. Toes point down, and then lower those hips down. Exhale, lift those hips up, toes point down. Inhale, lower. Eyes stay forward. Don't let those eyes look up to the ceiling. Exhale, lift the hips, keep it. Right leg kicks up, flex the foot, lower it down. Other leg, flex up, point lower. 
flex up, think those toes, try to point to the ground. Don't let those legs externally rotate. Try to keep them neutral. Two more. Exhale on each side, one more. Exhale, good, last pass. And then from here, lower that pelvis down. I want you to scoot more forward on your mat, as forward as you can. I want you to curl yourself into a ball, hold onto your legs real low, and we do rolling like a ball. Inhale back, exhale as you come up. So one breath exercise. Find the smoothness and try to stay tight. To me, if something's going on, if I feel like, ooh, my body's a little achy. Rolling like a ball really helps my spine open up. And then that, to me, trickles down somewhere else. So it's a good trick of the trade. We're an overall quick fix. Couple more balls. When you roll back, try to keep your feet close to your bum. Two more. Last pass. Very good. Okay, scoot back long legs. Flex feet, reach the arms, roll back, exhale. Make sure you have enough space. You're gonna scoot close to your springboard and you're gonna find those springs, the leg springs, it's the long springs. It's the only long springs we have in the Pilates studio are gonna be our leg springs for any of our tower, Cadillac, springboard work. So once you have your long springs, I chose purple, it's a nice heavy spring, and we are set a little higher, so just know I, I wanna work with that. Hands are gonna be on the dowel or the side of your springboard, whatever your springboard looks like. So once you're there, you have a good bend in the elbows. Heels together, toes apart, you pull the legs down, lift up. Exhale, pull down, lift up. We are not gonna play here forever, but you're gonna see what I wanna do here. Pull it down and keep it down. Roll the butt up, keep the legs low. Roll the butt down. Exhale, roll the butt up, prepping you for our magician. Two more, exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, keep it up. Now try to keep the butt lifted. Lower the legs in that butt, keep it in a nice line, and then lift that shape up. Lower down. Exhale up, use those arms. Exhale up, one more. Exhale up, hold it. Now do leg circles. Circle one, keep that butt lifted. Two, eyes to the ceiling. Three, reverse it. One, exhale when you pull the springs. Two, and three. From here, clap the heels. Clap the heels, lower the butt and the legs. Clap the heels, lift the butt and the legs. Try to control those springs. Lower the legs, clapping. Lift, trying to do the whole shape from about mid-back to ankles. You stay in a line. Two more passes. Last pass. Hold it in the middle. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Clap the heels together. Control the spring. Try to keep that butt lifted. Yeah. We do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands back on the board, roll the butt down, bend the knees in. Do a couple diamonds. Legs look like they're a diamond, lower that shape, lift. So find it in more the backside of what pulls these legs down. Exhale, pull. Two more passes. Exhale. Exhale. Good. Let's do leg circles. Pull down, around. Exhale when you work. Pull in the straps as a work. Exhale. Two. We're going to reverse this. Exhale when you pull around and then up. Around and down. Inhale up. Two more, really push them with the palm of those hands. Heel of the hands. Two more. Sometimes I say that a lot. Last pass. Good. 
I promise. I said we weren't gonna be here long, so let's take our feet out of these straps. Oh, that feels good. Okay, let's turn onto our bellies. Mm. Now, from here, I want you to get your push-through bar, and it has no weight on there. So you have your push-through bar, and we have no spring. Now, I want you to have long arms, and you're not jammed up in a springboard, Cadillac tower, wherever you are, you're not jammed up. So I have my hands on, and I'm already in a good shoulder position uh, stretch. So just be here, make sure your shoulders are okay with it. Shoulders to the ears, shoulders go down the spine. A little scapular isolation here. Shoulders to the ears, shoulders down the spine. Shoulders to the ears and to the spine. To the ears and to the spine. Couple more. Last pass. Now keep the shoulders down. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. Push down on the bar to lift up higher. And then slowly lower down. Inhale, lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back, lift up. And then exhale as you lower down. A couple more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now from here, bend the elbows, straighten the arms. Bend the elbows, straighten the arms. Bend, straighten, last pass. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. Bend the elbows, straighten the arms, lower down. Now here, bend the elbows, lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back, Ooh. and then slowly lower down. It's an exhale as you lower down, and when you need to bend the elbows, bend the elbows, push through. Now this is super advanced without a spring because it doesn't help us. So no pinching, no pain for you. Bend the elbows, you lift the eyes, lift the back, straighten the arms up to the ceiling. Now from here, inhale, exhale as we slowly lower down, and then bend the elbows, push through when you need to. Couple more, bending. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you lower. And then push through. Last pass. Bend our beautiful back extension without a spring. Exhale as we lower down. And then bend through. Very good, okay, hand down. And then bring the forehead on the hand. Just one arm. You lift and straighten up and bend and push through. Again, without a spring. This is usually done top loaded. Let's say most of the fun stuff is top loaded. Bottom loaded stuff is usually just your feet work for the most part. So without a spring, to me, you really got to work and push for it. It doesn't lift you up naturally. And no pinching, no pain. So honor where you need to stop with your shoulder. And if you even need to get fascia focus and look up a little bit to help you get that range of motion, that's completely okay. Two more. Last pass. Now from here, switch your hands. One hand on the bar, one hand down. You bend in, come up. This is an inhale because it's a little back extension. Exhale as you push through. Inhale as you come up. See that back going a little back extension. You want to create space so it'll help you with more range of motion. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. This would be nice to do before what we just did, especially if that was tight. So you know if you are into planning classes. Good. Oh, I feel like we got one more in this. Let's do one more. Come through. Both hands on. Lift the eyes, lift the head, lift the back. Slowly lower down. Good. 
Okay, now from here, let's come to our knees. And I like this whole no spring thing we're doing. Let's roll with it. So grab onto this push through bar and we're on our knees, full kneeling. My arms are nice and straight. I want to tuck my chin to my chest and I'm gonna slowly roll down bone by bone. And I'm trying not to let my butt pop back as I push this bar through. Now from here, this is where I change myself. So right when I feel like I'm running into something, I'm gonna scoop back with my knees and then extend my back where I'm not rubbed up against the board, the tower, anything of that nature. Now from here, I'm gonna make sure my hips intentionally are over my knees. I'm around the spine and roll up. Woo wee! Inhale. Man, we really set ourselves back for this one. Tuck our chin to our chest. <clears throat> Round back, or round down, try not to let the butt pop back. Go to our cat here. Reach forward and then extend out. If this is too gnarly, you're more than welcome to scoot forward. Exhale, round up. But since we're on a no spring game, it always feels a little bit more gnarly because you don't have that spring helping you. <clears throat> Two more. Tuck the chin in the chest. I wanna give you an extra one just because. Exhale, keep that butt tucked. Round down, push through. Inhale, extend through. Scoop to the back. Scoop, 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 scoop. Lift up. A lot of core. Last pass. Exhale. Try to keep that bum tucked. Down and controlled. Same speed everywhere intentionally. Inhale. Find the length. Spread the bum. Exhale. Scoop. Try to keep that bum right over the knees. Okay. Now from here. Bring one knee forward and lean into a little stretch and reach these arms up. Come up and we switch. A little active stretching. One leg forward, stretch open and reach your arms up. Come back. Other leg. Now let's think about the alignment of our legs trying to keep neutral. So I gotta really slow down my legs when I transition so I don't let my knees turn out to the side not letting my ankles get crazy. Couple more of these passes. Actively stretching this deep front line, especially with our arms up and over our head, really getting that top connection. I love this push through bar because it just gives you that ultimate stretch and it really helps you mm, find it more with security. Ooh, that alignment. One more on each side. Trying to stay in your body. Our super smart body likes to take the easy route. And we don't need to let it do that. Good. Now from here, stand up. And then you're gonna stand back in space. So I have the bar. I'm gonna stand back and lean back like I'm going water skiing. Or skiing, skiing. You're gonna lower yourself down. I'm gonna scoot back even more. Lower yourself down into a squat all the way down low and then exhale to come up. So keep it going. Your back slides down in an imaginary wall. Your back slides up it. Notice the back of the head. It stays on that imaginary wall as well. I stay forward on that board. <laughs> exhale to come up. Two more. Inhale down on the squat. Exhale, come up. Toes and knees are forward. Last pass. Lower down. Exhale, come up. Now from here, I want you to bring, bend the right knee in. You're gonna extend it back. You're gonna lower this bar down and push through, lift the leg. You're gonna come up, nice neutral, long body. Let me stop there. Lower down, lift the leg. Come up, neutral, long in space, parallel to the floor. Lower down, lift the leg like a seesaw. Come up, be neutral, toe and knees down. You gotta really focus on that leg that's floating because it really wants to turn into an, a funky range of motion because it can, it has nothing supporting it. Notice what it wants to do. Last pass. Mmm, I can hamstring. Good. I want you to bring both feet on. Other leg, you go down, find that seesaw. Come up, neutral spine. Lift that leg, find seesaw. Lower the leg, neutral spine. Keep it going. Couple more. Two 
two. Last pass, this feels great. Come all the way up, both feet down, lean back, ski, drop down to that squat. Exhale, come up, a few more. Exhale, come up, make sure those shoulders are pulled back into the spine, they're not reaching forward, down. Exhale up, three, down. Exhale up, down. Exhale up, one more pass. And exhale up. Bend, excuse me, lift the right heel. Do a single leg, lower down. Exhale up, switch it, lower down. My little introduction to single leg, but it doesn't feel like it kills you. So trying to find it, switch, and then we don't let it fatigue too much. But I want you to really think about the flat foot pushes you up and then switch. Do it again, think a lot of weights in the flat foot, let it push you up. Switch, down, flat foot pushes you up, switch, down, flat foot, switch, one more on each side, exhale, last pass, and exhale, both heels down, round and roll down, drop the bar, roll up. Our roll down bar. Let's find our roll down bar. Connect it to our yellow springs. And they are shoulder level. So, from here, middle of the mat. Get my alignment. <laughs> Round and roll down. Stay down. Walk the hands out just a little bit. Walk back to a little plank. And then pull yourself down on the ground. What a way to get there. <laughs> Scoot back. Now, if you can tell, I like to push ourselves in moves that we need to. A lot of advanced moves I like to throw them in. Because when else do you do it? Grab your ankles, flex your feet. Now from here, push your feet away from you and let it lift your back and your head. Now keep the shape of your body. It's all about dramatic breath or rocking. You exhale down, inhale up. The more dramatic you are with your breath, the more you can rock. Keep that head still. Eyes do the movement. Last pass. Lower down. Release. Whew. Turn on to your back. Now, once you're on your back, knees are going to be bent. Grab onto your dowel. You need to come up a little bit to grab it. Do so. Now from here, shoulders up, shoulders down. A little scapular isolation. Two more. Just to remind you how it needs to be set. Hold it down on the mat, keep it. Shoulders down away from the ears. Hold on to that. Pull the elbows out to the side. Inhale, release. Pull out to the side. Inhale, release. Smooth and steady. The longest wrist you got. Few more. Two. Long arms, pull down. They don't have to go down all the way. Inhale, release, that'd be really hard. Exhale, long arms, pull down, whatever that means for you. Inhale, release, it does not have to be big, but I want you to focus on how you're holding these shoulders in space. I want them down the spine, down on the mat. Exhale, pull down, keep it. You're gonna push these arms, pulse them out like we're doing our 100. You inhale for a full five count, and then you exhale. Little baby hundreds, you're welcome. Big inhales, big exhales. Long arms, I want you to have those knuckles leading. Big inhales, big exhales. So I gotta have a little fun with you, one legged tabletop. Big inhale, big exhale. This is our preparatory for 100. Switch the legs. 
Big inhale. Big exhale. Both legs. Big inhale. Big exhale. Legs to the ceiling. Big inhale. Big exhale. Set those shoulders. Lower those legs a bit. Big inhale. Don't let that pelvis rock. Big exhale. One more pass. Big inhale. And big exhale. Good. Release. And then release as far. And then I want you to reach your legs. Reach your arms back. Reach your arms. Lift the head. Exhale. Roll up all the way. Let's have a little fun. I'm going to turn on my side and face you. We're going to be on our side. I want the top leg to be forward in space. So top legs one corner on the mat, other legs on the other corner. My knees have a bend in it and I'm gonna grab the dowel with one hand and I'm gonna lower myself down. Sometimes it's easy to do this starting up. So like seated up in this position, if it seems a little hard. So start here if you can't get up on this next one. So we're gonna low down, lower down. Make sure this dowel feels even in space, it's not cocked. Your hand is down with a long arm, your head's on top of that. You're gonna exhale, float up in space. Think the spring lifts you, so lift the arm a little bit, lift up in space, oh, lower down. I'm gonna scoot this way a little bit more, so I have a little bit longer legs and a little bit more spring tension to help. So, exhale, come up. Mind you, I don't have anything supporting your legs. If this was classical, we'd have a strap underneath us to help our legs stay down. But since we don't, we have to work in this little advanced move. One more like this. Exhale up and come down. Now switch the legs. Our lateral line goes zigzag on our rib cage. And to me, you can really see it with this leg switch. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Couple more. Think that ear and bicep are close to each other. Two. Last pass. Now remember we have a lot of springs, so don't just let it go. We come up, we turn to the other side. So top leg is forward, bottom leg or back leg, yeah, bottom leg is back. Let's lay down on our side. Remember how you could start if it's too challenging. Now from here, trust yourself. Just imagine yourself floating up and lower down. Try not to grab onto that dowel. Try not to touch anything with the legs. Think, lift the arm a little bit in space, and it'll help you float those springs up. Two more. Exhale. Good. Last pass. Floppy fish is what I've heard before. Switch those legs. Let's do it again. Exhale up. Oh, inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. You keep it going. This lateral line. Connected to the side foot, all the way to our side head. And like I said, it zigzags on our rib cage. So trying to find where we need that little strength in the lateral line. One more. Woo -wee. And then from here, let's keep this towel. We're gonna come up and bend our knees. I like one hand on. We're gonna keep that. One hand on in the middle. I'm gonna switch my hand. So I have my left hand on in the middle, and then my other hand's back behind my head. Now, from here, just crunch up the middle. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch up the middle. Inhale, release. Crunch up the middle. And then release. Crunch up even higher. Inhale, release. Yep. You got it. So think, even though we have one arm thing going on, I want you to try to feel like you're balancing your core when you roll up. Good. One more. We're going to lower down. Try to keep those feet flat with grace. Make sure you're looking. Grab onto your bar. Make sure you have it. Never let it go. Other hand goes back behind your head. You exhale. Crunch up the middle. Inhale, release. Now try to keep that dowel, the springs even. Notice what your body's doing. A couple more passes. Trying to keep those shoulders even in space. Trying to keep that scapular isolation specifically on that right shoulder. Good. Two more. One last pass. Body good. 
Okay, I want both hands on. Let's grab onto the outside edge, uh, scoot, sit up. Let's grab onto the outside edge and then let's scoot our legs back or scoot back where your legs are long, your feet are flex. Now, since we're warmed up, we're gonna get there pretty quickly. Long arms just pull down, long arms lift. So notice how I give you a little scapular isolation with every time I prep you with this bar because I want you to know where we are in space, how you need to hold your shoulders properly. So pull it down, keep that whole rib cage glued together. Hold on to that. I want you to drop your head back. Back extension as you lower all the way down. Once this crown of your head hits, I want you to curl yourself to a flat back. Now let's round our spine and roll up. If you want to lift the arms a little bit, that helps you come up. Once the shoulders are over those hips, sit up nice and tall. Drop back into a back extension. Find yourselves a roll down here and up. Tuck the chin to the chest, exhale, come up. Back extensions are inhales because it creates more space. So inhale, draw back. Roll down. Exhale, come up. Shall we reverse this? Exhale, round and roll down. Remember, back extensions are inhale. Inhale, find a back extension, drop that head back. Lift through the heart. Once your shoulders are over, round in that C-spine. So finding this articulation throughout the spine and not trying to rush it, not trying to get, if you're in a class setting, not trying to speed up with the person next to you. Feel every spine bone. Try to get your body more controlled where it feels like it's guarding that day. And it's guarding for a reason. It's trying to say, hey, hey, I need a little bit more attention here. Try to open this, try to balance this for me. Good, one more. Let's round back and stay back. Let's do a little bit more feel good. Turn the, like you're driving a car, turn to the right, round up through the chest and roll up the right side of the spine. So it's really minimal, not the right side of the back, right side of the spine. I think we're drawing a big circle. Now right here at the top, this is where our circle starts, okay? To the right again, round down the right side of the spine. At the bottom, you drop your head, go flat, Go neutral with the arms and then veer over to the left. Tuck your chin to your chest, exhale, roll up the left side of the spine. See that big circle we created? Now inhale, sit tall. Now we reverse it to the left, round the spine, roll back. Don't know what those noises are for. Go to the middle, come up, round up. To the middle, sit tall, to the right, round back, left, roll up, come up, to the left, round, and to the right. Mm, okay, now I want you to drop this dowel, I want you to lay down on your back, round back, sorry that wasn't that graceful, I want you to have your arms nice and long and your legs nice and long and you close your eyes. Now let yourself melt. Feel the heavy. Don't get too excited. We're about to move. Open your eyes. Arms to a T. Bend the knees. Legs are wide. Feet are wide. Drop the knees to one side. Look to the opposite. And then the other side. And then the other side. Finding the spiral line. Notice what it's saying from side to side. I'm trying to find that balance. That grace. And then I want you to take a couple more passes and find what side you might need to sit in a little longer than the other. And then I want you to stay there. And then with your head, give me a big yes. Keep looking to the side as you go up and down of that chin. And 
gonna go to the other side. Use that pad up and then rotate him over. And then he gets to this side. Now stay here, take a big breath. Now both knees drop to the right, both knees to the right, and we're gonna lay on our right side. Now with our left arm, we're gonna trace a big rainbow up and over our head. And then once we made that rainbow, let's trace it again. Trace that rainbow up and over our head. And then do that again. Finding that open, Letting our arm line connections, those track lines open up, especially in an active form. Last pass. Now, once you have that rainbow nice and open, I want those knees to go to the other side. And then with the right hand this time, draw that rainbow up and over your head, and then draw it again. So it's our right side. Her right arm, it's moving, stretching that upper body. Of course, it's tight into that lateral. Gosh, it's tight into lots of little lines here, but that lateral line, definitely getting into that front arm line, back arm line. Couple more. Last pass. Good, now I want you to bring your knees up to the ceiling, face up to the ceiling, soles of the feet are together, so the bottom of the feet are together, arms are gonna be opened out wide, palms are gonna be up, and just try to settle. And if this is too much to settle here, you could bring your knees up to the ceiling slowly, and slowly open them if that's too hard for you to just sit. But I want you to just sit if you can. Melt. Take a big breath and notice where you breathe. And on your next breath, I want you to feel your breath in where you are not breathing. Lower belly, your back, your neck maybe. Do that again. Breathe where you usually don't breathe. Breathe into your pelvis. Fill that pelvis up with air with your breath. Feel it expand. One more. Knees it to the ceiling. Feet are flat. Give me a big inhale. Hands on her forehead. Then I want you to pull your forehead like you're pulling it back in space, but really lightly. Like you were doing it to a baby's skin, real calmly. Just barely touch your forehead and I'm pulling it back to my scalp. Yeah, keeping my eyes closed. And then I'm gonna just wiggle my fingers side to side or my hands side to side a little. Give me a big breath in. Let those hands go. I'm letting that forehead to stay nice and open. Reach your legs out, reach your arms out. Tell the ground that's supporting you, thank you. Tell gravity that's holding you down, thank you. that you can breathe easy. Thank you. Your heartbeat. Thank you. The fact that you can hear things. Thank you. Feel free to sit here and vibrate as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful rest of your day.
If you showed up here today, tell your body thank you so much. Thank yourself for showing up and your mind. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week and life for that matter. Until next time.